Good morning. We're going to take a look at the New Testament today. We're looking at uh, the book of Hebrews, 13th chapter, and we're going to look at the first uh, six verses. Let love of the brethren continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by this some have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember the prisoners as though in prison with them and those who are ill-treated, since you yourselves also are in the body. Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for fornicators and adulterers uh, God will judge. Let your character be free from the love of money, being content with what you have. For he himself has said, I will never desert you, nor will I ever forsake you. So that we confidently say, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What shall man do to me? Following her husband's death, Betty has spent most days in her flat watching television and boiling tea for, for one. She's not alone in her loneliness. More than 9 million British, 15% of the population, say they often or always feel lonely. Great Britain has appointed you know, a minister of loneliness to find out why and how to help in this situation. Some causes of loneliness are well known. We move too often to put down roots. We, we believe we can take care of ourselves and we don't have a reason to reach out. We're separated by technology, each of us immersed in our own flickering screens. You know, that dark edge of loneliness, you and I may feel that too. It's one reason we need fellow believers. Hebrews concludes its deep discussion of Jesus' sacrifice by encouraging us to meet together continually. We belong to the family of God, so we're to love one another as brothers and sisters and show hospitality to strangers. If we each make an effort, everyone will feel more cared for in their own lives. I know it's hard right now, but virtually we can do this with each other, reaching out. I watch, uh, I'm not a Facebook um, person, but I do watch all of those comments on Sunday morning as they come up on the screen, as people are reaching out to each other, sharing God's peace with one another. You know, lonely people may not return our kindness, but this is no reason to give up. Jesus has promised to never leave nor forsake us, and we can use his friendship to fuel our love for each other. Are you lonely? Are you lonely today? What ways can you find to serve the family of God. You know, the friends you make in Jesus last forever through this life and certainly beyond the life that we live now. So this morning, who needs your friendship right now? And how might you serve someone in your church or in your neighborhood this week? With all that's going on, how can you serve? Pray with me. Gracious God, the family of God is intended to be the answer to loneliness. Help us in this effort. Amen.